update. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento for TFNN Mid-Afternoon Update. I posted the chart in here of NVIDIA because that's all you hear on the news nowadays. Their earnings comes out today. Uh, the target on this measures to 770, uh, I believe, and it's been to 747.77. Uh, wow, slot machine. It's been as high as 746. So uh, to make from 671 to 777 is a heartbeat for this kind of stock, but... That's what we're looking at here in NVIDIA. You can see here we made a 1.618 expansion, and then we went down for 10 weeks, made a little ABCD there, and then boom, we're still going up. Now, I've been asked to share my one of my favorite stocks, which was Eli Lilly. First time I bought I, Eli Lilly, folks, I paid $100 a share for it when I first started working for him back in 1965. I was with them till 75. I don't have the stock or the original. Actually, I, I'm, I'm still in the program, so that helps a little bit. But I want you to see this pattern here in Eli Lilly. This is really quite amazing if you like Fibonacci numbers, and we certainly do. Look at the 1.618 expansion of this whole move going back to 2023, folks. That came in at 787, and the high on the stock was 794 and hit it two days in a row 794 two weeks in a row 793 and as you can see this is what we have going on this week and if we look at the daily you can see the daily is backed off just a little bit uh, yesterday it closed lower of course and then it gapped down a little bit today really means very little these uh, these stocks that we're seeing our results of you know great uh, research and development, AI, pharmaceuticals, whatever it is, but that's the uh, type of commodity or commo <laughs> economy that we have here. This is different than the dot com bubble. The dot com bubble was preparing it for this, but the dot com bubble, I mean, stocks would double overnight if the sales force got a phone call. Not if they sold anything, but if they got a phone call, it would double in price. That's how crazy that was. So that's what we're paying attention to right now. The real quagmire of this thing is the fact that the Federal Reserve is working today, and they are getting ready to tell us that I don't think they're going to be doing anything in interest rates for the rest of this year. But that's my two cents worth. We're going to take a break, folks. Paula Webb is going to be our – Paula Webb Douglas is our guest at the break. Stay with us, please. 